Hello all, this is Cake and Azuma. Hello. Otherwise YouTube. known as Mr. Void. Hello Mr. Mr. Void. Void. Yes. Reporting. Uh, and we'll be showing you our chicken farm, which yep. is Azuma's chicken coop. Generates yes, eggs. this is the chicken coop right here. This stores all the chickens and lets them lay eggs, which the water pool at the bottom will catch. Right. Uh, and how do you have this set up? Well, each this is all. Oh, this is a lot of coops stacked together. So one coop by itself will just have one chicken on one bit of water. And then the way it's been done here, we've stacked them all up together to look really nice. And all the eggs will fall all the way down into this water stream. If you come down here, you can actually see all the eggs making their way underneath where you can collect them. I'm being washed away into the center. I'm going to come out there. I'm following <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, this is the collection point right here for chickens. Uh, for eggs even, and uh, you collect the food from the chicken eater at either side, right where you're standing. And heading up again, you use um, fence gates that are open to let the eggs through, right? Yes, that's how it works, because it will hold up the water, but it can let the eggs pass through the water and the fence gate, which is pretty awesome. Now, for the, for the chicken eater, you can yep. see that we have dispensers up here. Yes. That fire into an enclosure that washes the chickens into into, into a fire. fiery pit. Yes. And then they die in a fire and you get delicious roast chickens. Yes, you do. <laughs> Actually, could you turn this on quick, Azuma, and I'll show the delicious yep. roast chickens coming through? Uh, the trap doors are open at the moment, aren't they? Yes, they are. And then now they're closed? Yes. I yeah, okay, great. I couldn't see from back here. Uh, let's check. The trapdoors right. are important because it lets Prepare the... Prepare for lag. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll hold my camera still. The trapdoors are important because it stops the chickens from falling into the water before they die. Then you open them up, chicken yeah. falls down, you get delicious chicken. Okay, I'm about to activate the circuit. I'm going to change the speed if I can, which I can't. Hmm. Never mind. And we're going to show how to make these and make... We can show them how to make adjust the speed too, since we're going to have to do the redstone. So there you go, all the chickens and feathers are catching. Yes, and I've, I've had enough lag, you should turn it off and open the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Turned it off. Right, um... I can move again! Yay! <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, if you want to come around the back here, we'll show uh, we'll show the audience uh, what just happened here. Okay, then, this, this switch here is the... Uh, is what activates the pulser here, which activates the chickenator. And just over here, we've got another switch which activates all of the trapdoors at once. And there you go, all your food drops down. And that that wasn't even using a full load of eggs. And no, that was that was just uh, a short run there. There's probably lots of eggs left. And there you go, there's loads of food. I'm gonna see how much there is. I'm gonna have to take something off my hot fire though. Almost a full stack of each off of just a couple seconds. There you go. So this design here is obviously very elaborate, uh, which leads me on to something I'd like to tell you about, is that we're actually going to have a competition. You can post uh, a video response to either of our videos, uh, mine being the tutorial, and this is the uh, demonstration, if you like, um, who can come up with a better chicken farm than us, because we think this is pretty awesome, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at it, it's huge. So, if you think you can do better, take, you know, look at the tutorial, learn how to build the chicken eater and the chicken coop, and yeah, see if uh, you can come up with something better than this. So, Cake, should we show them our prototypes? Indeed. In fact, we don't actually have 
too much of a prototype anymore. I think it got blown up <laughs> by someone using TNT. <laughs> oh, there there may have been some chickens in there. Oh, you guys are okay. I hope my kidding. <laughs> yeah. So uh yeah. Uh let's go over this way. Uh I've got a single one over here. And the the beauty of this is you can just build one or you can build fifty and they all fit, fit That's together. Exactly it. Both of them. Uh, the chicken coop actually stacks upwards and uh, all around it you can stack it due to its design. The chicken eater you can stack left and right from the original one. So here's one where you've got two next to each other. And then over here we've got one just by itself. And looking at this, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah. If you look at the bottom, you can see the two hatches on either side because the chicken can run to the left or the right and it falls down onto this fire here from this part up here and the way, reason we built it this way with the water stream is if you put the glass block one closer to the dispenser sometimes the chickens will escape or die yeah I'm gonna wait for chicken to come out there we go. Hey. And all it really is is a dispenser set to automatic that tosses eggs at this wall. Yep. Uh, hmm. Should we show them the if you fly over here, the circuit over here? All right. Let me explain the water quick underneath. Okay, yeah, sure. The water block is actually underneath the dispenser, which lets it flow out, and the sign prevents it from falling under the fire. And it's really just <laughs> as simple as that. Yeah, the water flow is quite important because if you don't have uh, the water block under the dispenser and if it's sitting in front, it will be still water, so it wouldn't actually force the chicken to move anywhere. So the reason you have it like that is with the flow, it will force the chicken down into the hole where the fire is. I've, I've found personally that using glass blocks prevents the chickens from dying sometimes. I'll just keep that in mind for this part up here. I think the main reason we use glass, though, is just because it lets you see what's going on. It's not nice to have, you know, machines all covered up in stone. If this was covered in stone, it would look pretty awful, really, as well. Yeah, it would just be a huge grey blob. It wouldn't be fun at all. Exactly, exactly that. Okay, so over here, we've got the pulsar. Now, what this does, uh, if you just fly around here, Cake, there's a redstone torch under here, uh, which we control with this lever. Right, so when we turn it on, the redstone torch is going to get lit, which passes power through the block, which then passes it on to the repeater, all the way back round to this block, which powers the piston. So when it powers the piston, it's actually pushing the block out and breaking the circuit, which creates the effect like this of creating a pulse. If and I believe, change the speed. Yeah, I believe if you adjust these, you can change the speed with either one. That's uh, something I haven't experimented there. Yeah, let's put it on lowest on both. There you go. You can have a very slow pulse as well. Yeah, this, this could oh, work for other things It's too. hooked up, so uh, you can actually see it working here really clearly. I'll just make it a little bit faster for you, Cake. Well, look at that. They all seem to be falling in the middle one. Yeah, they, they seem to tend that way. I guess there is an element of uh, randomness, though. I think they're tending to the the right more than anything. Yeah, they are. Um, Cake, if you just want to fly around here. Um, the other good thing about the design is the way the redstone links up at the back. When you have a row of them, you don't have to send loads of wires everywhere because... When you build one next to the other one, you can just link it up with one piece of redstone wire and uh, it saves a lot of resources and hassle and it makes uh, setting up one of these quite simple. 
Yeah. If you were to make an absolute huge one... Actually, I need a piece of stone. Let me pull out some bricks quick. If you were to extend this quite a lot, when the signal to the wire ran out, all you'd need to do is, on this block here... Place a repeater. Place a repeater. Do you not have a repeater? I do have a repeater somewhere. I, I wish all the redstone stuff was arranged together. Once in a while I'll have trouble finding something. Oh yeah, and if you noticed uh, on single player mode they're in different places to multiplayer. Oh, yeah. See, I think I think we've pretty much shown them everything, haven't we? Or have we missed anything? No, I, I think it's it's really as simple to build as that. I'll um I'll knock the front out of this even so I can look at it from above. Okay. Uh, one thing I'd like to say though is um, unless you have the allocator mod installed, uh, the only way to load up the dispensers is manually. So. Your chicken uh, coop will be laying eggs, and if you catch them with a water stream, then you'd have to pick up the eggs yourself and load them into the dispenser. And that's not a lot of work, really, for for the result, which is cooked food and feathers, and lots of it. Yeah. Actually, thinking about it... Oops. No, you need that block there. Oh, I've destroyed everything again. <laughs> that's okay, I'll fix it. Oh, <laughs> I thought that would fix it. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, what have you done? Uh, there, we go. there we go. There we go. No, not quite. Oh, the new water mechanics. There's source blocks there now. <laughs> oh, it's, I, I've heard they're going to fix that in the next patch. Right. Right, that's... That's about it. If you can build something better, like we said, set it yep. as a video response, we're going to have all, a contest. All video responses are approved. Uh, Cake, in your video, you're going to have a small section with an annotation uh, for your favorite one. And in my video, I'm going to have a section with an annotation for my favorite part as well. Yes. So, you know, submit video responses and we'll check all of them out and we'll put our favorites in our video. So, so yeah. And just so you all know, uh, Mr. Void, I'm not going to try to pronounce your name right now. Su Zumia? Isuma. <laughs> Isuma, sorry. There you uh, go, you got it. Prefers very intelligent, well thought out designs. I prefer ones with as much animal cruelty as possible. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think the animals have struck back on your world a few times, haven't they? You had yeah, chickens exploding on you the other day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chicken compression, watch out for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're they're coming. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> awesome. All right, this this has been a good video. I think we did okay. Yeah, I think we've done great. I think they'll understand the machine. Uh if they watch mine they'll know how to build it and with this video they'll understand what's going on. So yeah. Goodbye YouTube. <laughs> Goodbye, YouTube. Bye, Bye Zuma. Yeah. <laughs> cool man that was good that was good fun yeah I like that